Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the season review for the 2022-2023 season. Um, I'm here with uh, Lee. Hello Lee. Hello. Okay. Good job, okay. Good job. I'm also here with uh, the main main maestro. Don't know. maestro. Yeah, uh, welcome to Masanda Wana Fan Vlogs uh, season review for Mamelodi Sundown season of 2022-2023. Yeah, man, uh, we just thought, you know what, uh, let's call a few people, uh, hear what they have to say. I mean, um, the whole season you just hear myself, Neo talking, and um, you hear Neo, you hear Long on the fan cams, you hear Scom, or you hear, uh, you know what I mean, it's, 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 it's that. So we just thought, you know what, let's call in a few people, and let's just have a debrief of, of the season that we had. Um... First question I have for both of you guys. We're not going to go there yet, but it's just to get it out of the way. Have you healed from the Champions League exit? Have you healed? <laughs> to be, to be honest, this, this car will be with us until we win it. <laughs> <laughs> when are you, you, I think I am. Listen, when are you healed? I, I think so. Heal, guys. Heal. <laughs> Heal. We move. Uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, um, it's been a long season. Um, there's still so much that we have to unpack. I don't think we'll even be able to touch on everything. But just to begin, um, let's begin with the, the first trophy of the season, um, with the MTN8. Uh, we started the MTN8 very well, um, up until we got to the semifinals. Anyway, it's not like the MTN8 is a long tournament. It's just four games and you win a trophy. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm going to start with you, Lee. Um, what do you make of our, our MTN8 campaign? And um, yeah, I think maybe let me just cut my question there because the other stuff I'm sure you will go into. <laughs> what do you make of, of, of our MTN8 um, performance this season? Especially because we were defending champions. Mm, with Sundowns, ne, uh, I, I don't think I really put my emotions in the <laughs> MTN8 Cup. Simply because, maybe it's because never watch it this whole time or it's a pre-season cup. So I don't really put much emotions on that. We win it, we don't win it, mm. I'm okay. I have, I have you know, the, the MTN8 for me, that loss against Pirates, I think it's one loss that changed the whole complexion of, of our season, you know. But also, you know, to lose 3-0 as, as Mami Lori Sundowns, it, it left a, not a nice taste in our mouths, you know, especially against against Pirates. But, mm. but yeah, man, it was the, the beginning of the season. We were still trying to find our feet. But also the MTN8 gave us, you know, the, the, the game against Supersport. We saw the how, how, Nas, how good Nasir is and, and Alende. But mm. yeah, man, it was it was not nice to lose to lose in the manner that we lost. But also it it opened the door for, for a dif for a different season for us, you know. Uh, I like how you touched on the fact that it also introduced Nasir and Alende and that's when we started seeing that okay we, we have something here. Um, going into that, going into the new season I think we had a blockbuster window. Yeah. We had a blockbuster window. I mean before a game against Chiefs we unveiled Zungu. After that we oh, unveiled okay. Alende and uh, Zungu was the big fish for us. Um, Lee, what do you make of the, 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 the signings going into the season? Like when we started the season, uh, were, you, were you happy with the signings that we made? Especially, like, more especially on Zungu, because it seemed like uh, there was interest from Chiefs, even though we were never sure if there was real interest or not. Um, and we unveiled him before we played them, and then we gave them four. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what did you make of the signings that we made at the beginning of the season? Uh, let me see. The signings were actually good. Um, I don't find fault in the signings that we made, especially as Unku. Maybe it's because we we actually snatched him from Chiefs, but yeah, I, I was actually <laughs> happy with the signing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, were you were you happy with the signings uh, starting the season? I Maestro? think I think you know what was important for our signings. They need to understand that they were coming into a team that just won a terrible. They had to, you know, to mm, up the gear. I travel. Mm. Mm. It was, it was travel. It was travel. Yeah, let's not go into technicalities. Sorry to cut you off. Yeah, you can continue. So I was, I was actually happy, you know, especially the Zungu one. It was a homecoming, you know. It, so much was expected of him. Mm. We needed a, a type of midfielder with his, with his profile. Yeah, we'll speak about his, his performance. But to, to be honest, I was happy with, with our signings. You know, they, they really stood their ground. You know, Williams had a, has a, had a good season. 
unfortunately Nasir had, had problems with injuries, but you know, for you as a Sundowns player to score your first goal against Chiefs, no matter how bad you may be, <laughs> you've you won, you won, you won the heart. It's a win for us. You know? It's a win for us. And also, uh, Alain Dalenda coming in with his price tag, I think he, he really showed that he's, he's worth the money. As they say, allegedly, he's worth 51 million. We, we are not sure, but you know, he proved to us that, you know what, he, he shouldn't actually be playing in the PSL. He's a, he's a quality player uh, overall, but I'm, I'm happy with all the signings, man, that we, we made. They really, they really put their end up this season and, and they put something on the table for us to to really be proud of, of yeah. the investments we made. Yeah, um, you know, the reason why I jumped into the MTN8 before we went anywhere, I think it's because of the type of um, impact it had on the club. But when we when we look at the signings we had, I mean, you just signed Ronan Williams. <laughs> it's Bafana Bafana number one, yeah. Bafana Bafana captain. And at that time, you have Denise, who performed very well in the M10-8, performed well in the league, uh, won us the NetBank Cup. Um, you bring in uh, Nasir, you bring in Zungu, you bring in Alende, you, <laughs> I mean, AB. you bring in AB, um, who we only got to see uh, at the end of the season. Yeah. But also, I think the reason why I jumped into the MTN8 before we went any further is because of the, the impact it had. Um, I say, in hindsight, losing the way in the manner that we lost to Pirates became a blessing in disguise for us. Yes, definitely. And helped us yeah. because of the, <laughs> the changes it made. Yeah. I remember last season I said to Knut, I said, my only problem with the co-coaching setup is the fact that the team doesn't have a personality. I, I don't care who the coach is. You can bring in whoever, yeah. whether good or bad. At the end of the day, I want the team to have a coach, a personality of one person, not, not two people. Yeah. So, I mean, with Coach Pito, <laughs> you knew uh, whatever this guy says drives the team. So now when you have co-coaches, even when they win, I feel like the question you will always have is how long is this thing going to last? And I don't think I want to go into a season and going f in full force for the Champions League, for the league, for the trophies, ask, uh, wondering how long this thing is going to last. Yeah. I, I don't care if you say uh, you can take one supporter and say, you, you coach this team, or you can take whoever and say, coach this team. I just want my team to have a personality. And the fact that we, we, we ended up with having one single head coach, I think... That was the biggest blessing in disguise. Whether it was going to be Coach Compella, whether it was going to be Coach Mangova, Coach Wendell, or Coach Rulani. The fact is, I want a coach to have a face. I want the, coach, I want, I want the team to have a face. It's I want the, the team, team yes. to have a personality. But losing the way we lost, especially playing our home game in Polokwane, yeah. I, think, um, I think that game left such a bitter taste uh, in, in my mouth. And... Um, also losing to pirates. <laughs> <laughs> three million, not one. Three million. <laughs> not lose to pirates with such a score. Yeah, I think the the manner in which we lost was was left a bitter taste. But the quick turnaround on Monday to say, yeah. hey, you know what? We didn't like what we saw, and we are gonna go into this new direction. I think that helped. I think that helped. And um, not winning the first trophy of the season is annoying, but. It's not like the MTN8 has always been something that we've been chasing. But let me tell you something. We when, move on from there. when we won it, <laughs> but when we won it in 2021, it I enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> and and I'd love I'd love to to, to win it again. To I win it again. It you know, because it sets the tone for the season. Mm -hmm. Um so yeah, um <sighs> How many games have we lost at Loftus in the past two years? I I think we have lost two years, Galaxy Hello. In the what? Two, two years Galaxy in the last two seasons because also our we lost two Chiefs uh, no, no, but it no, was, no, was the other season. Yeah. and then our home loss when we won the, the treble we lost to Stalin Bosch at, at, at tax so yeah. we lost us we've only lost to Chiefs Galaxy in the last two years actually so now it goes back to that question where we were talking about going invincible this and that but I think going invincible is the most the toughest thing we can we can ever face but also Starting the season the way we started it, winning 2-0 in Cape Town, dominating the game, and then you come back home, your first home home game, you lose to Tears Galaxy. How how 
But also, I feel like, you know, the fact that we were playing Chiefs, I think it played in the, mind, in the minds of the players, you know. Mm. I think it was a matter of they were not mentally there because I felt against TS Galaxy, we were, we were a bit not ourselves, you know. We, we played the rush, rush football. But, but you know, I think it, it was a matter of mentality. They were just thinking about the fixture that was coming and it was the big fixture against, against Chiefs. Yeah. And also, um, I think for me, since we've even during the time of Coach Pizzo, getting 12 points out of the first, uh, out of um, the match day blocks, having the six match day blocks of like five games, mm. for me, I wanted to go into the first match day block going 15 <laughs> out of 15. And, and losing your first home game of, of the season, especially in the manner that we lost, where we dominated the game, Test Galaxy set back, and, and they, they, they just got one goal. Yeah, out of out of nowhere, actually, against the run of play. Um, but were you happy, Lee, with how we started the season? Mm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I was. But because we lost um, the first ever game, so I was not happy. Actually, I was not convinced mm. that we were going to win the league. <laughs> <laughs> that first game, I was not convinced. I don't want to lie to you. It takes me back to the first game, my Air MT8, when we had, I don't know, really the co coaching thing. It all my oh, yeah, when we played against Broom yes, Celtic that other season. Was that vibe or a, Are I we going there are again? Are we going there again? Yeah. yeah even though, but we, we, we did well. I think one thing that we always do as a non supporters is we discard the previous season and we look at the season for what it is. You were not even confident because. Even though that season we didn't start well, but we finished yeah, strong. You were not convinced <laughs> still. But, but also, you remember, we always say that sundowns are a slow starters. We, we need to keep that in mind. But ever since the, the, the co coaching started, I think we, we, we started the season very well. You know, I mm. think in, in, the, in the first match block, I think we lost to only Chess Galax. I mean, to, yeah, to Chess Galax. Mm. And also, beating Chiefs 4 0 for me ah. was, it was enough. <laughs> <laughs> for me in the first, first, at first, home, first, at home. <laughs> you know, usually Sundowns struggles against Chiefs at Loftus. Exactly. Yeah. You know, so yes. for me to beat Chiefs for nil, and then you you go on in, in on a on a good ride, on on a, on a good spell. Yeah. But also, I think the the MT8 is the one that made it a bit, you know, made made us feel unsure about what's gonna happen. You know, this is it. This is it. But yeah. I think I think we started well. Actually, I think we started well. Yeah. I'm. I, I, I think I always judge Sundowns based on on the on the league performance. I never judge us based on the cup because okay. if you look at probably like the past six or even seven seasons, okay, granted the Champions League calendar was different and it always made us struggle in the yeah. MTN eight because by the time we start the MTN eight we would be in the latter stages of the Champions okay, League. Yeah. But now like it gives us enough time and I think that's why we're even able to to win the MTN8 uh, and actually even want to win it now yeah. because there's no Champions League, there's nothing like we are just starting. But um, I, I think one one thing that I will I will I will I will I'll forever remember like that first period of of the um, of the season when we were starting is just getting an idea of where the team is going because if you remember. Okay, actually I can say the way we started is almost the same as how we ended. If you remember like when we were starting, AJ didn't play against the uh, Cape Town City. That was a bit of a shock. Uh, also not having Dennis in goals for the first game of the season yeah. against, um, against Cape Town City. And, and we were quite not sure about... You know what I mean? <laughs> were, you, were you... I'm going to start with you, Lee. Were you, were you shocked to see Ronwen come in and jump into the starting lineup Definitely and Dennis... Definitely I was. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I was. I was. Because, I don't know man, he still knew, but he starts ahead of Dennis, Dennis Nguyen. 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 Yeah. Mm. Actually, it, it was a shocking move. Was, was it a shock to you, Master? I was not shocked because <laughs> if you remember the final of the Nathan Cup, it was actually the first time ever since Onyango was our number one, we played Kennedy Mweni in the Inner Cup final. Yeah, the Netbank Cup uh, mm. against against Marumo Kalan. So in Rustenberg. I was yeah. I was not shocked, you know. I, I think we were I ex I personally expected Williams to start because of 
we saw we saw what he did at Super Sport. You know, all the years he spent there, he, he, he was he was a he was a, a, a quality goalkeeper. Also, you know, the way we started, it was the way the way people were saying that uh, Temba Zone must go to the stand. I, I don't think <laughs> he started the season Imagine. very well. <laughs> but also, he scored against Cape Town City. But yeah, yeah. I, mean, they, I, I was not shocked actually to see William starting for us. And another thing, I think Mshishi is this season. Uh, I think it was his fourth season in a row where he scores he in the, yeah in the in the opening game. Yes. Yeah, I don't want to lie to you. I was I was shocked um, to see Williams coming in and starting immediately. Yeah. That really shocked me. Uh, I, I I didn't expect it. As much as I understand his quality, <laughs> as much as as much as he's a Bafana number one, but I thought they will ease him in to the starting lineup because. You know. Because I wondered, how will this thing work out with Dennis? How do you tell Dennis that, Dennis, you're you've been my number, number one? one <laughs> <laughs> you've been number one all this time, but we are going into the season okay. with Ron Wayne. And then he delivered. In, I think in Cape Town, he had very good saves. Yes. Very, very good saves. Um, the game against TS Galaxy. He also <sighs> made, made good saves against TS Galaxy. And then we go and he plays, she saves the penalty. Saves the penalty. Yeah. Yeah. I think that one, that, I think that penalty so was the one you, that, that won the, the, the Sundowns supporters' hearts yeah. when it comes to Williams. Yes. So now you, you said, Lee, uh, at the beginning that you were not convinced at the beginning of the season when we started playing. Were you, they were in the way, in the manner that we beat Chiefs, did you feel like, okay, this is the Sundowns that I know? Yes, definitely. Heavy score. Nothing <laughs> <laughs> like Especially to Chiefs. <laughs> yeah, I think I, th I think that game also gave us an indication of how we will we will go into the season. Yes. My my one thing that I wasn't sure how it's gonna work. I felt like the home is definitely gonna play this coming season. Uh, AJ didn't start. I can't remember if AJ started against his Galaxy now, um, but he was on the bench against City. And AJ had finished the season strongly. He was the midfield of the season. Um, and then when we play Chiefs, he starts and plays super well. Super well. And yeah. Debuho starts, but Debuho starts on the right side of midfield. And he looked kind of lost. Yes. And I think that's what made me wonder, like, how are we going to go uh, uh, forward with this team, and in, especially in this season? But um, I think... One thing that I took from that game is that we're going to have a strong bench. <laughs> because you can bring on Nasir from the bench, he can score. Bring on Mkulisi. Bring on Mkulisi, he will do the work. Bring on Mbule, he will do the work. And so I thought like from that game, it sort of gave me a, 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 a glimpse into how we are going to go into the season. But yeah, um, I think... The beginning of the season, when you think about it now, it's kind of a blur. <laughs> you, you forget some of the things that happened, but... I think, oh, and we also lost the two, two super sport that Lucas Muri. You remember the two? Uh, yes, 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 yes. We and it was after we had just played them uh, in at Tax the yeah. uh, in the MTN8. Then we, but also the way we beat them in the MTN8, it it it, it didn't. It wasn't it that was convincing. convincing. But for me, it wasn't convincing. It wasn't. And. I remember a lot of people said there's no way you're beating Gavin and twice. No, yeah, but, you, but there, there was no way Super Sport was going to allow Sundowns to beat him twice. But also, you know, Gavin and when it comes to Sundowns, he doesn't like to lose to Sundowns mm. that, that much. Yeah. Mm. It, it's always a matter of we beat him, he beat us. So I think it was it was a bit expected. But also, when we play Super Sport, I expected a draw. And also, mm. when you look at the starting 11, we, we dropped Mshishi against, against Super Sport in, in the league. Maybe we thought the, the new dawn is going to start. Yeah. But yeah, Mshishi showed us that day. Hey, isn't it crazy like the things you'll say about me at the beginning of the season and the things you say now but but also you know i feel like one thing also coach rulani spoke about he said that mshishi welcomes the, the criticism he gets you know mm. he it's like when we criticize him it's like <laughs> and personally i don't like i've never seen anything wrong even if he makes mistakes in jia but also you know you know when it comes to sundowns i always say that you don't have to judge him. She's as the same player as yeah. any player at Sundowns. She's just up there alone. You don't, have to, you don't have to judge him with, because, honestly speaking, he's earned that right to be there. Yeah. He's ended. He, we are not just putting him there. He's ended. And also this season, he has shown. You know, when the uh, when the season was about to end, that I, I'm still good, man. I'm yeah. still good, even though I'm I'm, I'm, 30, I'm 33. I can I can I can I can do something for this team. Mm. But not only that, uh, at the beginning of the season, you play you play the opening game of the season, and he's wearing the armband. 
which is something that he wasn't yeah, I think doing he, the previous season. Yeah. I think he wasn't he wasn't ready for it at that at that moment because mm. he also said that maybe the arm bent is too heavy for him. I don't think he was confident, man. Even Trumpo was never ready when he got the umbrella, but he, <laughs> <laughs> but he, he, he was convincing. But um, yeah, man, uh, I'm, I'm liking, I'm, I'm liking the conversation, and I'm liking how we also debriefing on the, the first round of the season, I, which, to me, like still some things are, are still a blur.